Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow. I've got another drag race for you and I'm sat in a BMW X4M competition. So it's got a three litre straight six twin turbo, the engine that will go in the next M4 and M3. So it puts out 510 horsepower and it has 600 newton meters of torque. Drives all four wheels via an eight speed torque converter automatic gearbox with launch control. This thing weighs two tons and it costs 80,000 pounds. Now just over there in the distance is my AMG G63 daily driver. So that has a four litre twin turbo V8 with 585 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque. It has a nine speed automatic gearbox, no launch control, but it does have four wheel drive, of course. And it weighs 2.5 tons and costs 150,000 pounds. Beyond that is a Bowler Bulldog. So that's basically a souped up Land Rover Defender that has been completely reworked in terms of suspension and everything. It's been fitted with a five liter supercharged V8 from the Range Rover Sport SVR. As a result, it has 550 horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque. Now that thing obviously has got four wheel drive and it's got the same ZF eight speed gearbox as in the Range Rover. It weighs 1.8 tons. So it's the lighter car here so far and it costs £135,000, so not cheap, and it's got no mod cons inside it at all. Now, for our final car, the white thing next to me, I'm going to hand you over to our guest driver, Alex Kirsten from Carthroll. So, Alex. Tell us about the Porsche. I'm in the Porsche KN. I've got a 4-litre twin-turbo V8, 550 horsepower, 770 newton metres. Price, £105,000. You could buy a whole village in Birmingham for that. <laughs> It weighs 2.3 tonnes though, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I think I've got this. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you're alerted when we make a new upload. And also, make sure you're following Car Throttle as well. Click on the pop-out banner up there to go and see their channel. Anyway, let's get on with the race. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The, the fight, fight that you, you never, never knew you wanted, you wanted to, to see. see. Alex Kirsten versus Matt Watson in a pit of mud. This has got really sexy really quickly. Go, 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 go! Oh, this is off the line fast. That Porsche. Flies. Oh my god, that hurts! So does the G. Is the ball? Where's the ball? Oh, I can't. Oh, oh, it's coming ahead of the G. <laughs> Look at them walk in the park. Bye bye, everybody. Nice knowing you all. That BMW is not doing too badly. Am I gaining on that Porsche? Oh no! Look at that! It was close. I think the G might have just had him. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Porsche Cayenne Coupe Turbo did the standing quarter mile in 11.6 seconds. BMW X4M took 11.8 seconds. The Mercedes AMG G63 and the Bowler Bulldog both crossed the line in 12.3 seconds. However, a photo finish revealed the G63 was just a few centimeters ahead. Now we're gonna have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour all the cars are in their comfort setting and normal automatic on the gearboxes. Although this car is actually in efficient mode because it doesn't have a comfort for the throttle. Come on, KN, you got this. Fine, guys, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Go on, kick down. Come on. God, that took ages. Come on, Porsche, can you do it? I'm going to call this race off. I'm increasing the lead. I'm so happy about this. I'm in efficiency mode and I'm spanking the Porsche. You're not gonna catch me. No. Right, that's enough of that. You are toast. That BMW. 
Jesus. That is rapid. How do you feel about that, Alex? Yeah, you know, I, I totally, uh, totally thought that would happen the whole time. Now we're going to have a brake test from 70 miles an hour. Right. Left foot brake the shit out of this. When we reach the line, full emergency stop, see which car stops in the shortest distance. Here we go. It's a heavy car, it's done all right. That BMW wins again. Well, there you go. Clear victory for the BMW. Bit of humiliation for that old bowler there. <laughs> Sorry, kind of just nose diving on the brakes. The Porsche didn't really do much better than the G-Wagon. In fact, let's find out. Alex, did he beat the G or did it beat you? Uh, I think we're actually level pegging. So the Porsche didn't actually break any better than Postman Pat's van. Yeah, and I actually put my foot through the carpet, so I couldn't have actually braked any harder. The G's brakes are, I mean, they're massive. Look at them. For such a huge thing, it does stop well. It's 2-1 to the BMW. It won two challenges, though, to be fair, the main challenge, the one that matters most, is the drag race, and the Porsche did win that.